it's you back again with another video and in today's video as you can tell by the title we are doing my week 16 nfl predictions uh yeah so as always we're gonna go over my week 15 uh and see how i did on scores and stuff like that and then we're gonna get into my week 16 predictions if you're new here uh consider subscribing and if you like the video go ahead and like the video uh, that's the best way to let me know you like the content so let's go Week 15 started off with a Thursday night football game of the Seattle Seahawks and the San Francisco 49ers. Uh, and I chose the 49ers here, and I got this game right. The 49ers won 21 to 13. Uh, you know, not the best game played by Seattle. Uh, 49ers defense and great again. I watched just a little tiny bit of this game, uh, so I can't necessarily comment on a lot of it. But the 49ers pulled out the dub. Um, really, really, really put a damper on Seattle's playoff hopes. Uh, I'm not sure if they're in a, in a spot still, uh, and if they are, it's the very last spot. Um, maybe they are. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. Next game, on Saturday, we had the Indianapolis Colts taking on the Minnesota Vikings, and man, oh man, um, this game ended 36-39 to with the Vikings winning. But the Indianapolis Colts were up 33 to zero at some point in the third quarter. Um, I don't remember how early it was or how late it was in the third quarter, but they were up 33 to zero, and they come and lose this game, 39 to 36. You score three points in the second half of football, where the Vikings scored 39. That is insane. That is wild. This is the biggest comeback in NFL history. History was made this week. Um, that's wild. That is absolutely wild. Uh, but I ended up getting this game right, which, yippee, I guess. Uh, but wow, the Colts really choked that one away. Moving on to the next game, we have Ravens and the Browns. I got this game right. I picked the Browns to win. Uh, and I've been saying this the last couple weeks. Um, the Ravens don't look good. They don't look good. Obviously, they don't have Lamar. And obviously, they didn't have Tyler Huntley for like one of those games. But they scored three points against the Browns. What a snooze fest. I didn't watch any of this game. Uh, but man, the Ravens have looked bad. They've been squeaking out wins here and there. But they have not looked good. Which sucks because I think the Ravens are, are a very good team. Uh, when they can play, how they regularly play. Uh, they need Lamar back. This just goes to show that Lamar deserves to be paid. Look at how the team plays without Lamar and tell me he doesn't deserve to be paid. Moving on, we have uh, Miami Dolphins and Buffalo Bills. I got this game right too. Uh, it was 32 to 29 Bills winning. Uh, one on a, not a walk-off field goal, but a field goal with like a couple seconds left for the uh, Buffalo Bills. Uh, I guess you could call it a walk-off. Uh, but an overall good game here. A uh, snowy-ish game in Buffalo. Uh, yeah, the Bills pulled it off. The Dolphins are on a losing streak. Or they're on a, they're in a slump. They're eight and six. Um, let's see. Yeah, it has to be 8-6. This is week 15. Um, so yeah, they're 8-6 and six now, which they're in, in jeopardy of not making the playoffs, uh, which is wild. Uh, moving on to the next game, the Eagles and the Bears. I got this game right as well. I picked the Eagles to win. They won 25-20. Biggest takeaway from this game is that Jalen Hurts is injured. He hurt his shoulder. Um, from what I've seen, it would be maybe he's out too two of the last three games, which is nothing. Uh, we want this man healthy for playoffs. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think he's going to play against Dallas on Christmas Eve. Literally game of the year. I've been saying it for weeks now, and it, now it's just not going to be because we'll have Gardner Minshew at quarterback. I still think the Eagles can pull it out with Gardner Minshew at quarterback, but it's not going to be this game of the year. Jalen Hurts taking on Dak Prescott, Cowboys-Eagles rivalry, rivalry Christmas Eve. Um, yeah, I got that game right. Uh, next game, Lions and Jets. The Lions won 20 to 17. And how about them Lions, baby? Uh, I got this game right. Uh, this was the most important game, in my opinion, for the last four games that the Lions had. If they win this game, I think they have a very high chance to go into play to the playoffs, and they did win. So, uh, if they can continue playing how they've been playing. They'll squeak in a wild card. Will they go anywhere in the playoffs? I don't know. Uh, but hey, to start the year 1-6 and six and make the playoffs, that's pretty impressive. Uh, moving on to the next game, Steelers and Panthers. I got this 
this game wrong. And really, the only reason I picked the Panthers is because I don't want the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to make the playoffs. I want them to lose that division and Tom Brady to cry about it. Um, but unfortunately, the Panthers lost here. Uh, I believe if they won this, they would have been tied with the Bucks or maybe even one game below them still. But yeah, that NFC South is absolutely disturbingly horrible. Uh, there's not one single good team in that division right now. Uh, but I got that game wrong. Moving to the next game, the Chiefs and the Texans. I got this game right. This game went into overtime. Uh, I said this. I said this. Uh, last week, in this exact video last week, I said, it, it, I don't want to sound like a time traveler or anything, but literally the three examples I gave, I said, it's going to be a game like Eagles and Bears where the game's going to be very close to the end and someone's going to pull it out. It's going to be games like the Chiefs and the Texans. It's either going to be a blowout or it's going to be very close to the very end and then the team, the better team will pull it out. Um, and the same with the, the, the Cowboys and Jaguars. I said it's going to be very close to the end or the Cowboys are going to actually absolutely blow them out. And those three games, literally those three that I said, uh, Chiefs went to overtime, Cowboys went to overtime, and Eagles only won by five to the Chicago Bears. Wild, wild, wild stuff. Uh, moving on to the next game, we have Falcons and Saints. Uh, I got this game wrong. I picked the Falcons. I kind of forgot that Mariota wasn't playing anymore. They're rolling with Desmond Ritter. Doesn't necessarily make much of a difference, but um, this hurts me to see the Saints win just because, I've said this every week, the Eagles draft pick that they have from them is just... It's getting hurt every year, every game that they win. Uh, Saints won by three, so shout out to them. Next game, Cowboys and Jaguars. Like I said, this game went into overtime. Uh, the Cowboys choked away a, a lead here. Um, which, I mean, I, again, if you're a Cowboys fan, this is nothing to worry about. Kind of like that, that game where they barely beat the Texans. It's not nothing to worry about. Um, the Jaguars have looked good. They've looked good lately. And, uh, yeah, they hung up, like, Zay Jones had three touchdowns. That's Zay Jones we're talking about. Um, anyways, you know, GG to, uh, to Jaguars fans. Nice win. Um, I appreciate it as an Eagles fan, but if you're a Cowboys fan, there's nothing to be worried about here. You know, it's just, it just it happens. You know, the Eagles lost the Commanders, right? And, you know, good teams lose to worse teams. Uh, it just happens sometimes. Next game. Uh, I got that game wrong, by the way. I did pick the Cowboys to win. Uh, next game, we have the Cardinals and the Broncos. I got this game wrong as well. I chose the Cardinals to win and the Broncos. Uh, I don't believe Russell Wilson played, but they scored 24 points, which is definitely above their season average. Um, not much to say here. I didn't watch this game. This next game, um, Patriots and Raiders. Uh, I believe I got this game wrong. I'm pretty sure I picked the Patriots to win. This game should have went to overtime. Uh, this was, in my opinion, from recent memory of anything I've seen within the last, you know, however long I've watched football, this has been the worst way to lose a game that I've ever seen. Uh, to walk you through it, if you haven't seen the clip, you should just look it up because it's, it's really indescribable how the Patriots lost this game. Uh, it was 24-24 with like 10 seconds left on the clock. Instead of taking a Hail Mary shot, the uh, Patriots, Patriots decide to run a halfback draw, uh, which got them like 40 yards. And uh, I believe it was Ramondre Stevenson or Damian Harris, I don't remember which one it was, pitched the ball back. You know, oh, I'm going to get tackled. We're, we're close, kind of close to the end zone. I'll pitch it back. Maybe someone can make a play. So he pitches it back to Jacoby Myers. And now this is where everything goes wrong. Jacoby Myers should have caught the ball and sat down and went to overtime. Uh, but Jacoby Myers throws the ball back across the field uh, to Mac Jones, assumingly, because he's the only one back there. Uh, I'm assuming it was to Mac Jones. But it, it, was, it was directly to Chandler Jones. And all Chandler Jones had to do was stick out his arm and Mac Jones never stood a chance, and that's how the Raiders won on a walk-off, um, what did you call that, a fumble, rumble, return, I don't know what you call that, to be honest with you, uh, but I mean, I saw the interview after the game with Jacoby Myers, uh, really, really, um, like, stand-up guy, took full responsibility for it, you know, I got, I'm doing too much, I gotta just go down with the ball, uh, and stuff happens like that, so, can't necessarily be mad at him. That stuff happens. You know, things happen like that. Not to that extent. I don't know about that, but, you know, people make mistakes. Uh, so tough loss there for the Patriots. Next game, Chargers and Titans. I got this game right. The Titan, or the Chargers won 17-14. Dude, the Titans are 7-7. Seven seven. The Jaguars very well good. If they win out, Titans lose out. Jaguars are in the playoffs, I believe for the AFC's health, which would be wild to me. Um, 
seven and three, and now they're seven and seven, or maybe it was even seven and two. I don't remember, but now they're seven and seven, which is scary if you are a Titans fan. Uh, moving to the next game, uh, Buccaneers and Bengals. I got this game right. The Bengals won thirty-four to twenty-three, and I believe the Bucks got out to a seventeen nothing lead, and uh, the Bengals just started playing. Um, it, you know. It's always nice to see Tom Brady lose. I apologize if you're a Tom Brady fan. I'm not. Uh, I had to grow up watching him win the Super Bowl every damn year. So, yeah, I got that game right. Giants and Commies, Sunday Night Football. I got this game wrong. I picked the Commanders to win. The Giants win. I believe there's an 88% chance the Giants make the playoffs now. So, shout out to them. Like I said earlier, like even week four or whatever, it's nice to see the Giants play good. Um, you just, it's nice to see really any team that's always been bad really good. The Lions playing good, the Giants playing good. You can even argue the Jets are playing good. Uh, I don't remember their record, but they've lost a few games here and there towards the end of the year. Uh, but yeah, even with the Jaguars, how they've been playing lately, it's nice to see that. But I got that game wrong. Giants win 20-12, to arguably. Um, there was an arguable... Uh, pass interference, no call at the end of the game. I don't know. You know, you could say, you know, tomato, tomato, stuff, all this stuff happens, and it's no call uh, throughout the whole game. I guarantee there were no calls on something, or there were calls on something that shouldn't have been called. Uh, just how the cookie crumbles. And moving on to the last game, which was Monday Night Football, we had the Rams and the Packers. I got this game right. The Packers won 24-12. to uh, Packers have a very, very very bleak chance of making the playoffs, so this kept their playoff hopes alive. Rams are done for sure. Um, the Rams are, man, what a disappointing team this was this year. Very, very disappointing. Um, yeah, let me go over these teams and see count how many out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 games. How many I got right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, percentage there, uh, but it's definitely, um, it's a little bit under two-thirds, a little bit under 66, so probably around, um, probably around 60%, I'd say, I'd guess if I was a mathematician, uh, I would guess 60%, so, a lot of games on Saturday, uh, a lot, a lot of games on Christmas Eve, uh, and there's only three games on Christmas Day this week, okay? So Thursday Night Football, which will be tomorrow for you guys when you're seeing this. We have the Jaguars and the Jets. Very interesting game. I think I'm actually going to watch this one. And I'm going to go with the Jacksonville Dra Jaguars. Jaguars, rah, rah, rah. Um, Trevor Lawrence has looked good. Trevor Lawrence has earned my respect enough to where I go ahead and pick him this week as the, the winner. This is a very, you know, Jets playoff hopes on the line here. Jaguars also have implications on the line for playoffs. Very good game. This is going to be a very good game. Two teams, I feel, maybe with the, how the Jags are playing lately are evenly matched with the Jets. Um, Zach Wilson didn't look too bad against the Lions, but I'm not a very big Zach Wilson fan. So we're going with the Jags. Let's see what Doug Peterson and Trevor Lawrence can do. Yeah. Moving on to the next game, we have Falcons and Ravens. I feel like the safe pick is the Ravens here. Uh, again, this is going to be, I'd say the score of this game is going to be 14 Ravens, 10 Falcons. Very tight and close game. Unless Lamar's back. I don't know if Lamar's back, but it's a completely 
safe pick is the Browns. I don't know why Deshaun Watson hasn't really looked that good since he came back in week 11, but um, I just need the Saints to lose. I'm sorry, you could call me a Saints hater, but I mean, it's just what I need to happen. <laughs> um, next game, Titans and Texans. I feel like this is make or break for the Tennessee Titans if they lose this game to the Texans. No, and mind you, have gone to almost won against Dallas, went to overtime against the Chiefs. They are hot right now. They are on fire. Very well. You know what? Let's do it. Let's take the Texans here. I'm changing my pick. We're going with the Texans. I could very well see the Texans winning this game. As crazy as that sounds, uh, it doesn't matter if they do either. They, they could, I think they could win out and still maybe be getting that first overall pick. Uh, but if they win here, they'll only have two wins on the year. So they are still in first place for that pick. Um, I can very well see them beating the Titans. If they beat the Titans and uh, the Jags win, I think that's a tie for first in that division. So let's let's get fancy with it and take the Texans. Probably a dumb pick. I don't know. It could be, you know, big brain. Uh, next game, Bengals and Patriots. I think the Bengals win here. Bengals having a great year. Uh, Joe Shiesty, Jamar Chase, you know, the whole gang's over there. T. Higgins, Joe Mixon. They got a very good team, very strong team. Uh, Patriots coming off that loss against the Raiders. Uh, playoff hopes are kind of hanging in the gallows right now, so hopefully that they uh, use that as fuel to the fire to maybe, you know, we got to win this game or it's over type thing. Um, yeah. Next game, Giants and Vikings. I'm going to go with the Vikings here. I think they uh, continue to be hot. Uh, you know, you can say what you want about Kirk Cousins. I, you, you know, you guys probably know by now. I don't think Kirk Cousins is good. I think he's mid. Uh, but, you know, he's he's been playing good. Uh, but, you know, when you come back from 33 nothing, I feel like you deserve my respect to pick and to win the next week. Uh, so sorry, Giants fans, but I think the Vikings take this one. Bills and Bears next. This is a freebie again. Like I said last week, this is going to be the Bills either blow the Chicago Bears out by a million or this game's close somehow. Uh, there's no in-between. Uh, but I'm still going to go with the Bills. It's a smart choice here. I don't see how you could not take the Bills in this this uh, this scenario. Uh, moving to the next game, we have 49ers and Commanders. Easy locks here. We got the 49ers winning this. Brock Purdy, third string quarterback. Who cares? You got the best defense in the league, arguably. You could say the Eagles have, you know, best defense. A little bit of bias talking. The 49ers, very good defense. You know, Brock Purdy's played pretty good. Um, so we're going to go ahead and give it to the 49ers here. Next up is what I've been hyping up as game of the year for the last, you know, five, four or five weeks now. Eagles and Cowboys. Uh, and unfortunately, every time I've said that, you can just throw it out the window because it looks like Jalen Hurts is not going to be playing this game. Uh, so unless Gardner Minshew goes insane and shows that he could be a starter somewhere in the league, uh, I have the Cowboys taking this game. Uh, uh, you know what? I can't do that. I have to ride with the Eagles. I say the Eagles still win. Let's hope Gardner can show that he is an amazing quarterback. Uh, the Eagles have a good defense. You know, they'll be able to hang in the game, hopefully. But it's not going to be what it's hyped up to be the last couple weeks by me, which I apologize for. But I, it's out of my control, obviously. Um, it's still going to be a good game, I think, though. Uh, still going to be a good game. Always is when these two teams play. Next game, we have the Raiders and the Steelers. I'm going to go with the Raiders. This is Saturday Night Football. I just see the Raiders winning this one for some reason. Uh, they got that cheeky win against the Patriots. Uh, they really haven't looked good that, this year, uh, but neither have the Steelers. And when you got, you know, Trubisky and Kenny Pickett at quarterback, that's kind of your reason right there. Uh, I still have the Raiders taking this one, though. So next game, we have Packers and Dolphins on Christmas Day, the first game of the day. I'm going to go with the Dolphins here. Uh, it's in Miami. Uh, this is, in my opinion, a must win for the Miami Dolphins. If they lose this game, fall to 8-7, and seven, I think they don't make the playoffs. Uh, and even if they do, they won't go anywhere. Um, they'll be first-round exits. And, you know, they've been so good. I feel like they've been so good at the beginning of the year, and they're just they've fallen apart. They're in a slump right now. I love their coach, Mike McDaniels. Uh, amazing coach, amazing coach. Uh, I'm just not the biggest guy on Tua Tonglevoya. Uh, you know, people say he's good. He's, he's got a lot of good talent around him, but I just don't see Tua being this amazing quarterback, as some may say. 
but we're still going with the Dolphins. We're going to let the Dolphins ride here, see if they can, you know, keep up a relatively good record to get into the playoffs. Next game we have, how is this game on 4.30 on Christmas Day? This is the Broncos and the Rams. I will absolutely be taking a nap when this game is on. Um, I don't even, I'm going to, I'm going to make them tie. They're going to have a tie. I'm not going to pick a winner here. I want the Rams to lose. I want the Broncos to lose. They're going to tie. It's going to be a, uh, let's see. It's going to be a 17-17 tie. That's my guess. Uh, nobody wins here. Uh, both teams eliminated from playoff contention. Both teams beginning of the year projected playoff teams. You could argue Rams are Super Bowl favorites with coming off of winning one. And the Broncos obviously made a bunch of upgrades at quarterback, Russell Wilson, all this stuff in the offseason. And now they're eliminated from the playoffs. That's wild. Um, we're going to say they die. 17-17. Moving on to next game, Sunday Night Football. Christmas Day, Sunday Night Football. We have Buccaneers and Cardinals. Both teams looked very bad. Um, in their last games, but I'm going to go with the Bucks here. Unfortunately, Tampa Bay and Tampa Tom are going to squeeze into the playoffs somehow, and they'll probably win their first game, I feel like. It, that's just how it goes, you know. Uh, you get in and you, you win. Uh, so we're going to go with the Bucks here. Uh, the Cardinals just have looked bad. I don't know if they have Colt McCoy playing still or if Kyler's back. Or no, Kyler Torres ACL. I'm sorry. They definitely don't have Kyler back. Um... Yeah, this is, I feel like this is a kind of a freebie for the Buccaneers, and if they don't win this against the Cardinals, they don't deserve to go in the playoffs. I don't care if they're division leaders, they don't deserve it. Give it to the, give it to the Panthers. Give it to the, give it to anyone in that division other than the Bucks uh, if they don't win this game. And then Monday Night Football, we have Chargers and Colts. Colts coming off a 33-point blown lead. We're going with the Chargers. Chargers playoff hopes on the line. They want to get in. They want to, you know, they've been playing great lately. They want to do it. They want to, they have this drive. Raw. Uh, so, yeah, I, I'm just going to go with the Chargers here. I think they'll end up pulling this one out against the Colts. Uh, Chargers country, let's charge, uh, I guess. So, let me go over what my game picks are here right at the end for you guys. I have the Jaguars over the Jets, the Ravens over the Falcons, the Lions over the Panthers, the Chiefs over the Seahawks, the Browns over the Saints, the Texans over the Titans, the Bengals over the Patriots, the Vikings over the Giants, the Bills over the Bears, the 49ers over the Commanders, the Eagles over the Cowboys, the Raiders over the Steelers, the Dolphins over the Packers, the tie over the Rams and Broncos game, the Buccaneers over the Cardinals, and the Chargers over the Colts. If you guys enjoyed, go ahead and leave a like, uh, comment anything you'd like, uh, hopefully pertaining towards the video, and if you enjoyed and you're new, consider subscribing. It's free, and it's the best way to know 